We're going to go ahead and take a look at the back of the E6V. This one is made by ASA and it's very nice, it's the metal one. So on the back to find our ground speed and true index we have a set of instructions here that make it real simple and you really don't have to memorize it. First step is to set the wind direction under true index and our true index is indicated by this right here. Our wind direction for this example is 315 at 15 knots so we're going to go ahead and rotate the wheel to 315 knots which is right here. Notice true index and our wind direction is right under it. So step two is mark wind velocity up from center point. Center point is this little thing right here, the little hole. And people get confused in this section, but it's very simple. I use 100 as a reference. So I put the 100 in the center hole, and then from there I go and mark my wind speed, which is 15 knots. So 100, 110, and 115. I'm going to go ahead and make a little circle on there, a little dot. And you're going to need to use a pencil for this because you need to erase this and use it for later on. Okay, so we did that and now we're going to go ahead and go to step three. Set our true course under true index. Again, we we'll go back to true index and we're going to go ahead and set course, which in this case is 096 degrees. So we're going to rotate the wheel 096 degrees. And I normally always go the long way because I'm just lazy. So 95, 96, okay? So now we read 96 degrees under our true index, which is our indicator right here. So we go ahead and go to step four. Slide the wind velocity to mark our true airspeed. And our true airspeed for this aircraft is 140 knots. So we're gonna slide the back of the E6B till we read 140 knots. So 140 knots is right here. Notice I'm not doing the center point, I'm doing the dot that we marked as our airspeed, uh, correction, as our wind speed before. So 140 knots, we're going to go ahead and put that dot right there. Now our ground speed is going to read under the center. So the center here is reading our ground speed. So our ground speed actually is nice, it's 150 knots. So we already found our ground speed, 150 knots. And our wind correction angle in this example is going to be uh, let's see here, I'll go for negative 4. So why negative 4 or why plus 4? If it's to the right, it's going to be you're going to add. And if it's to the left, then you're going to subtract. And the best way of, to see this and to actually understand it is, picture as this is your airplane, right? And we said our winds are going to be coming from 315. So if our winds are coming from 315, which is right here, it means it's going to be pushing the aircraft in this direction. So to compensate for that push, we have to grab the aircraft to the left and hold that heading. So we're going to make negative 4 degrees to our true course to uh, correct for wind. Go ahead and now try it yourself. Try for this example wind direction of 076 degrees at 20 knots with a true course of 153 degrees and a true airspeed of 110 knots. Find ground speed and wind correction angle. So for this example I found that ground speed was 103 knots and our wind correction angle was negative 11 degrees and you can find them here 103 knots and here's our wind correction angle towards the left.